Jesus Christ. My mom watches these videos. So let me not get kicked out of my house. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you this Valentine's Day look. It's very simple. It's just your, you know, pinky purple halo eyes. I'm going to go ahead and start the voiceover and start the video. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more weekly uploads. I'm saying that word very loosely. But yeah, for more weekly uploads. And I hope to see you. All right, so I'm going to start off by applying my base, and this is the Maybelline foundation, the Superstay foundation in the color Coconut, and I already have my primer and stuff. I primed with my It Cosmetics primer all around my nose and my under eyes. That's where I have my pores. That's where I need, you know, to fill in some lines, but I'm just taking that foundation. I'm really digging the Superstay foundation right now just because I like the fact that it has a pump. I like the fact that it's a lot thicker than the Fit Me, but in when it comes down to like finish and coverage, for me, it is the same. So if you want to save a few bucks, just get the Fit Me, but the Super Stay is really nice if you are looking to try that one. And we're just going to buff that all over. Alright, and since this foundation, even in the Fit Me, is a little bit red, I'm going to go ahead and take my Fawn Concealer from LA Girl and apply that to my under eyes as well as my forehead and my chin. And then I'm going to grab my sponge and spray it with my Mari Badescu spray and I feel like that helps blend out the concealer and since this concealer is a bit thick it keeps it from you know getting like cakey if that makes sense so yeah try it it's a really cool you know little trick I picked up. And then I'm grabbing my black opal setting powder in neutral lights and applying that to my under eyes, my forehead, and my chin. And I really like beige powders over more like yellow toned powders just because white powders kind of freak me out. There's a joke in there somewhere that I'm not going to fall for, but white powder really freaks me out. So that's why I prefer uh, powders with a beige tint. And it still gives me that brightening effect, effect that I want without it being, you know, that scary, you know, flashback mirror moment. You're not trying to have that. I'm not trying to be casket ready. So just go ahead and set the face. And yeah, if you guys want a more in-depth look into my highlighting foundation contour routine, I do have a video on that on my channel that I will link down below. dusted off the neutral lights powder from my under eyes and uh, every other place that I highlighted I go in with another black opal powder in dark and I dust that all over my face as well as taking my black radiance powder and contouring my cheeks because I am a potato and I don't got natural cheekbones so we try to you know, make them things Alright, and then I'm taking my Morphe 35B palette and dipping into that fuchsia color in the third row. I will have that up right there so you guys can see it. 
and I'm going to pack that color onto my crease and not blend it just yet. I want to build the color up to the opacity that I want and then I'm going to take my brush and use little circular motions around the edges to blend it out. I really want this color to pop and I want it to be as vibrant as it can be so that's why I'm using this tactic instead of sweeping it on and right there I'm using little circles on the edges to buff out the edges and yeah I'm taking that into my inner corner as well the inner part of my eye as well and I already have primed my lids with my NYX concealer in tan bronze and I also set my lid And from that same palette, I'm going to be taking this deep purple shade and I'm going to take a very small like pencil brush and dab that color on to the outer and inner part of my eye. We're making a halo eye here, so you obviously, you know, want this to be a nice contrast. So that's why I'm taking this deeper color on the outer parts as well as the inner part and then slightly connecting it when I blend the edges out on both sides and slightly, slightly connecting it so it blends into the fuchsia. And then I'm going to be taking a new product from NYX and these are the Shimmer Me Down pigments and the color that I have is Mauve Pink slash Rose Violet. And before I do that, I'm going to be applying NYX's Mixing Medium onto the center of my lids to act as an adhesive for the pigment because I guess these are loose pigments and I need something to you know, stick to. And then I'm going to be taking a flat synthetic brush and patting the pigment onto wherever I applied the mixing medium. You really don't want to swipe this because it will get everywhere. And so the best you know move for you is to pat it in and then blend out the edges with a small pencil brush. And then here I'm taking a short blending brush and taking that fuchsia color from before that we applied to our crease and just hitting the edges of the dark plum purple and the shimmer so that they transition very nicely into one another and it doesn't look too harsh or too muddy. So yeah. Alright, and then I'm taking that same fuchsia color again, and I'm applying that to my lash line from the outer part of my eye to the inner part, and with a small blending brush, I'm going to smoke that color out. And after I've blended that out, I'm going to take a small angled brush and I'm going to apply that deep plum color to the outer part of the eye until I reach about the middle, not taking it all the way in. And then taking my black radiance blush and I'm going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks and just blend it up. 
I've never been a fan of blush because I've always had this weird thing in my head. It's like black people don't blush. Why do we need blush? But I've grown to kind of love it. And now I'm going to be taking my Jackie Ina highlight in La Peach and applying that to the inner corners of my eyes as well as the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow, and obviously my cheeks. Kevin Hoyt on the track. And as I wait for the lash glue to dry, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with a just regular everyday beauty supply store brown lip liner. And yeah. And applying a generous coat of the Big Shot Mascara to my lashes. Kevin Hoyt on the track. Okay, and then I'm going to be taking my NYX lingerie lippy in the color Ruffle Trim and applying that to the center of my lips and just patting, blending, getting that nice little ombre, you know, my lips but better kind of look, that nice nude lip. And you could really stop there, just go with the matte lip if that's what you're comfortable with, but because I absolutely love glossy lips, I think glossy lips are so pretty. I'm going to go ahead and grab my NYX Butter Gloss in the color Paraline and apply that all over my lips for that beautiful shine. Okay, and here is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel. It's it's right there. It's right there. Just hit the little red, it turns gray, and you, you know, your edges grow back. That's what happens. If you hit subscribe, your edges grow back. So, there you go. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy your Valentine's Day. Please don't make it a big deal. It's really not. Honestly, the best thing about Valentine's Day is that the next day, all the candy and chocolate strawberries are half off. So I'm going to be hitting up the store that day. I'm going to treat myself, okay? But yeah, enjoy your day, guys. Enjoy your dates. Have fun. I'll see you in my next vid, okay? <laughs> Bye.